The United Nations Human Rights Council will on Thursday hold an emergency session in Geneva to discuss the ongoing fighting in Sudan between the Sudanese army and rival paramilitary rapid support forces. The purpose of the meeting is to condemn the conflict and call for the observance of human rights and international humanitarian law, according to a diplomatic source. There have been reports of significant human rights violations, including attacks on people, hospital, sexual violence, looting of warehouses, among others. It is unclear whether a planned resolution would receive the necessary majority in the Council, which has 47 member countries. Several African countries, particularly Sudan, are said to be assistant about the summit, believing it could jeopardize ongoing peace talks on the conflict. Responding to news about the United Nations Human Rights Council will hold a special session on Sudan to discuss the impact of the ongoing conflict. Amnesty International says it welcomes the special session and called upon the Council to address the human rights crisis in a manner that is responsive to the current and urgent needs of people in the embattled Northeast African country. Amnesty International retreated calls made together with more than 90 other organizations for council members to establish an investigative mechanism to monitor, collect and preserve evidence and report serious violations of human rights and humanitarian law that have occurred since the fighting started. It added that the investigative mechanism should be able to identify perpetrators and make recommendations to ensure accountability, justice and reparations for victims. Fighting broke out in Sudan in mid-April after a long power struggle erupted between de facto President Abdel Fattah al-Burhan and his deputy Mohamed Amdan Dagalo, who heads the RSF paramilitary group. The United Nations estimates that more than 700,000 people have been displaced by the conflict. Kamil Sadiq, reporting for CBTV.